Hello there Capricorn, welcome to the second half of September 2022 reading for you guys. Let's see what's going on for Capricorn. Nope. <laughs> Let's see here. We have, oh, someone's having a lot of regret, a lot of remorse. See the three cups that they're spilled over. They don't see the two cups behind them. Someone's very intuitive and someone wants to come back in. Okay. There's a very strong connection with you and someone else. I feel here and someone have a lot of regret a lot of remorse of what happened between you I think you guys are probably connecting on in the fifth dimension not so much here and the third dimension but someone wants to come back in and give this another shot not sure how you feel about it. I feel like you guys are dreaming about each other though oh we have here could be dealing with an air sign king of swords here someone's very smart and um might be a little strict but fair um so we have Aquarius, Libra, Gemini here. Let's um, see. Let's clarify. Why do we have the Five of Cups here? Why is the Five of Cups here? Ooh, the Five of Swords. Look at these Five. Fives are changes, though. There was some kind of deceptive behavior. Someone, I feel more like someone held back. Someone might have felt a lot for you, but they weren't showing it. And that made you say, well, if you're not feeling anything for me, I'm out of here. And now they have a lot of regret and remorse because they couldn't open up. They didn't express themselves well. And I feel like it's something from their upbringing. And I um, mean, actually, you know, it's, things happen where people just don't feel comfortable. They, um, this person felt a little insecure. Or it could have been other people getting involved in this connection and starting trouble too with the Five of Swords. Let's see what this High Priestess is, um, Virgo Cancer Energy. Why do we have the High Priestess here? Oh, the world. Yeah, this person definitely wants to come back in. They feel a very strong pull to you. Uh, I don't know if this person is so, like, into their intuition. I don't think they really um, believe in intuition so much or spiritual. But they feel this very strong pull towards you. And they want to come back in here. Especially with the world card and the judgment card. Okay, let's clarify the judgment card. Yeah, they're coming in. Knight of Swords. Strong air sign here. Okay. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. This in the world is completing one cycle to start something new. So this person might be uh, closing things up, ending things, wrapping things up in order to come towards you because of this pull. Ah, we have here music. Okay, there might be something to do with music. Maybe they think about you with the music or you guys are connected somehow with music. Might be a very strong connection with the music here. Okay, and then we have the Nine of Pentacles. So, uh, Mercury retrograde is <laughs> kicking my butt. I cannot make, get my words out. Okay, the Nine of Pentacles is um, someone that's feeling very independent, doing well on their own. They might see you as that, wondering if you would even, if you need them. It almost feels like you don't need them. Okay, let's see here. Let's get more of a Capricorn. What else do we have here for Capricorn? Let's see here. Ah, Ten of Pentacles. Woo! Eight of Wands. And we have the page. Yeah, this person wants a long-term commitment with you. They, they plan on having a conversation. They're coming in here quick. There might be a lot of conversations with the person. They might be like, <laughs> you know, blowing up your phone here or a lot of texts. And um, they want to apologize. They want to come in and make things right. Um, with the page of cups, we have... Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, energy, but it could be anybody. Uh, we have oh, but we also could have a bull here. We have could be Taurus. Got the bull here. Okay, I think I got that backwards. Let me see. Yeah, that sits better. Okay, there you go. Either that, or they could be kind of stubborn or headstrong. Maybe. <laughs> um, we do have the Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. They could be seeing you as very nurturing, caring, loving. Okay, let's clarify this Ten of Pentacles. This is um, money's coming in for you, or this could be this commitment. But you could be having a lot of money coming in for you. And it could be coming in quick here. Let's see. We have, ooh, the sun. Whatever this is, it's going to make you happy. Look at the happiest card here. Also could be dealing with a Leo. Okay, what about this Eight of Wands? Why do we have this Eight of Wands here? I feel this person is very protective of this connection. 
they might keep things to themselves or if someone says something bad about you they'll put them in their place immediately I, as soon as I picked up that card I felt a very strong energy of someone saying no you don't don't you even okay that's what I felt on somebody okay what about this page of cups ah uh, yeah will you be willing to they're looking at that cup and thinking will you be willing to put the work in here because they're they feel there's a lot of potential for this connection and they want commitment here again Taurus energy higher fem. they're looking for long-term commitment with you they're seeing you and them being very happy together if you know they have to open up that's what and they know it um let's see what else we get here for you guys oh yeah world card again they're coming back in oh look at this see they're coming back in that popped and this is the moon card pisces energy they want to express themselves they hid back there are secrets there's things that they hid back from you they did not express their emotions more than anything else that's what i'm getting here they did not express their emotions so they want to come in and do that now hoping it's not too late again we have here now we have the seven of cups you have options you have choices very spiritual too seven sevens are very spiritual it's also lessons but they see that you have options they're kind of concerned about that but they're hoping in divine timing the wheel of fortune they really feel like this is meant to be okay let's clarify this world card oh wow yeah two of cups soulmate connection they feel this very deeply they feel a very deep connection for you and then we have ah they're holding on to this they're not gonna let go they can't it feels like this person cannot stop thinking about you oh they are jealous they are obsessed this is also your card too could be represent saying you're coming out in your reading but i feel more strongly that this is just saying this person cannot let this go oh the lovers yep see gemini energy they want this connection super bad here this person is obsessing over this okay let's see okay, what else do we have here for capricorn i think any court cards except for the bottom of the deck okay so there's no words coming out yet let's see if we get any on this one. Oh, i did up here I forgot about that one okay let's see what else do we have the hermit this person is really I think they're like sort of sticking to themselves and they're in their thoughts over and over again. I feel someone keeps them playing like a broken record of what was said or what happened or something. Virgo energy here. They're gonna they're gonna contact you. So you're gonna hear from them soon. Page of Wands. They're gonna reach out. Let's see. We have ooh, we have a zebra. Okay, zebra. protective here with the stripes and um what else i forgot one um misselle here she's she gave me a lot of information on zebra i didn't know what to do with the zebra yet someone camouflaged something was probably camouflaged with their stripes sorry camouflaged the confusion this person is confused uh, but they do want to ask you out they're going to come in and ask you out they want to celebrate with you they want to ask you out have a good time And walking away from something that no longer serves them to come to you they're leaving something behind to come towards you and they're gonna have they're coming in quick fast communication so if we get ready for this they're expecting to have fast communication with you and um, they're waiting for the right timing you might been waiting for this person there they don't want to come in prematurely they want to make sure that when they come in it's gonna work because they're they're a little i feel a little nervous energy here let me put one more roll on okay let's see capricorn what else do we have for you oh they see you as the empress they could be the empress too um taurus libra energy but i feel like they put you on a pedestal they see that there's possibilities that are endless here for you guys getting together to create something someone could also be pregnant when the empress comes up but i don't feel that that strongly i feel more like this is um, you know giving birth to new ideas new new ways um, of doing things that very creative energy this person is holding on not letting go they want the four of wands with you they are stuck in their head they 
This person is very, I feel very sad. I don't know if I want to cry. I feel very sad with the person's energy. They feel really, really down. Saying, how could I have done that? I messed up. Um, I almost feel like some of them were younger at the time. And maybe this is many years later for some. And it feels like I was naive. I was, I was being stupid. And, um, of course, that's not for everyone, but... That's the energy I'm, whoever I'm tapping right now, that's what they're going in their head, like saying, oh, why did you do that? Why did you do that? Um, you blew a good thing, you know? All right. So now let's see. Let's see what the words are. What are the words here? So we just have, that is very interesting. We have one person, one court card that actually come up that I put the word on. Just one. Oh, two. I'm sorry. This one too. This one coming in quick, and this one with the information um, coming in to talk. Yeah, definitely. There's definitely going to be communication from this person. Okay. Denying. Sincere. Keep some money. Okay, someone's being sincere, but the, that's kind of isn't that contradictory? Sincere but denying. Okay. Well, maybe someone's denying they kept money. Was there some kind of money situation here and they didn't keep it, but someone else did or something happened with money? Oh, now that's not going to be for everyone. So <laughs> don't make it fit if it doesn't, you know, don't try to make it fit. Okay, let's see. What about this page? Um, on wands here. Lover. Contact. The ex. Oh, yep. So the ex is going to contact you. The lover here. Okay. All right, so expect contact from this person. They're really in their head here. They want to make things work. They're not going to let this go. So they're not going to, uh, they're going to be pretty persistent. Okay, so if you won't, don't want this person, you know, just <laughs> don't talk to them because they're not going to give up. All right. So if there is a, a chance that you think, okay, let me hear them out. Okay, but just know that they're not going to give up easily. They feel that you guys are meant to be together. Okay, what signs do we have for you? We have cancer it's weird because we started out with this five of cups and we ended with the very last card the five of cups so the person coming in is really in their head have a lot of regret a lot of remorse started out in the very beginning that's what wanted to come out and wanted to end them you know they don't stop thinking about this this is on their mind constantly okay cancer cancer scorpio capricorn Aquarius and Aquarius. Wow, that's interesting. Two Cancers, two Aquarius. Okay, guys, so this is placement your chart, placement other people's charts, past, present, and future. Cancer, Cancer, Scorpio, Capricorn, Aquarius, Aquarius. Now for the letters. Okay, we're going to do 11 letters. This will be for initials, first name, last name. If you get both the first and last, and you know someone's middle name, you get that initial also. Um, all the better. Past, present, future, also your own. A, K, D, R, N, M, Z, H, B, O, X. Good HBO. <laughs> okay, guys. So the letters are A K D R N M Z H B O X. Okay. Now let's see what names want to come up for you guys. What are the names? Okay. I, I might need a couple more. Lilia, L-I-L-I-A, Dini, D-I-N-I, -I. Jamie, Somya, S-O-M-Y-A, Kevin, Sneha, S-N-E-H-A, Jeff, G-E-O-F-F, -F, Jordan, with an E, Deborah, Norman, Alan. Boy, something just popped over here. 
Spirit is popping something here. Also, I heard a pop. <laughs> okay. So I don't know what that came on. Alan, Norman? I don't know if you guys heard the pop. There's something that some spirit wanted it that popped. <laughs> that name popped for some reason. Okay, so remember, these are general readings. They're not personal readings. Um, please take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Please leave me mess comments. <laughs> I'm getting off. That popped, that popped through me. <laughs> okay, um, I love you guys so much, and I appreciate all your likes, shares, subscribes, and comments, and I hope to see you all again real soon. Thank you so much.